Brick, we're back with Clue, and I'm going to tell you what happened. She saw Crash go down to the pond, and she wants to go down there, too. But this is presenting a good dilemma. I don't have the collar on the dog yet, and I do have the sound box. Your job... Yay! Yay! You have got to... Yay! Um, if you have a dog that you're training... I didn't have the collar on. The last thing I was going to... My last plan... I want you to know what's going to be to call the dog. My first plan was to somehow get it over here and not set up a scenario where it's quite obvious I didn't have the collar on. And remember, this dog is hard to get the collar on. You've got to be as, you cannot make the dog sit first brick. You can't, that's a big, ah! This has a very short strap. It's very hard to get on. Um, you can't have a, that ritual. You can't have that ritual to get it on because then you just, you don't want to put demarcation lines between beginning and end or whatever. I, I, it's hard to understand, I know, and I don't think I used to understand it either. Ah! But then right away, I'm just gone from the dog. I'm not requiring any. It's, yay! Sophia, if you're still, you know, you can't. You've got to figure out a way not to call the dog over to you and make them do something they don't want. Because if there's people that do that, when I see them calling, I don't answer sometimes. <laughs> Yay! 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 Looks like I don't want a jumping Rottweiler. Well, that's what you're getting. I'm just... Oh, that was weak. So remember, this dog, and I'm, you know, more and more maybe think that that's... Let me turn my camera here a little bit. You know, if you don't have these specific kind of technical terms that you can do, I'm going to tell you, when you get out in public and they're looking and doing and being distracted. I, yeah, as far as I know, it's the only hope. Because if you said, well, what do you do if you have them out and they start uh, looking or you see an obvious distraction, I start doing the turns. Because I've conditioned them to turn. You know, and you're just saying to turn. All right, but I gotta get a little room here. Oh boy, crashed the screen sooner. Now she ran into that. Now she's gonna run into me. Let's see I actually think she's just checking to see if I'm here. She's going back to the pond, probably. You know, but if I, if you said, well, you know, you mean the only thing you can get to do is turn those two ways. Yeah. You know, and if, where do you go from there? Well, I can, you know, fill in the middle with that just walking along part that all these people seem to be able to train them to do in two weeks. So, you know, that's kind of what I'm looking at. I'm saying this is a big dog. And I've got my default down, you know, but anybody that says, you know, and I, you know, this, this pains me because this guy said yesterday, I use a mixture of food and physical petting. That's like a gut punch. I mean, that, that's even worse. I mean, you're just, you're almost like taking two steps forward and one step back when you do that. So... I'm saying to myself, it's a very large dog. Whatever ability I have to move the dog, that's what I want. I'm not saying to itself, I'll dominate it and let it see I'm the boss, and then it'll do what I want, just because that's not how they are. You know, they're, they would always be seeking to do what they wanted to do. I think that's what people have to realize. You know, I'm going to get them for two weeks, force them to do what you want them to do, and that behavior persists at all. Not even close. So I haven't said a word to the dog. I, you know, I don't even have the ability to reach out and touch one's face. If I want this dog to come closer to me, all I have to do is move away from it. You know, everything about my body posture. I should try and pick up that stick. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try, okay, good.
hips up. Remember, you always want the dog laying on the hip. This I want to get rid of. Okay. You know, so. said, how quickly do they need the reward? A nanosecond. Maybe that's what it is, Mike. The reward has to happen in a nanosecond, and then it's done because all the cajoling and petting and all these things are so far after the fact, because it happens that fast, that's where they're going. It's not really that dogs don't want the petting. They actually do want the loves and hugs. Ah, so remember, I am just saying to myself, I'm going to run the pager concurrent with my voice. I've got two very technical turns I want to practice. And if you said, well, who else has technical turns? People that barrel race horses, you know, and if you said, you know, they don't have it down tech, yeah, they do. I'm pretty sure they have probably by now have computer programs they can run on them to say where you need to start turning, you need to move in closer here or something, I would think, you know, considering how fast that's happening you know, in 12 seconds or whatever, if the difference between first and second is one second, you're going to be looking at every, you know, way to make things more technical. So if you said animals don't do good with technical, well, yeah, I, I think they do. I think they do better with that. You know, but I've got to be able to operate it clearly. And with this dog, I've got to be able to move this dog from out in front of me because what I don't want is it in front of me. So I'm just going to push it with the pager and my body language feel. Yeah, boy, here comes Crash. That's what she does. But remember, it's already got a backwards. I'm saying to myself, I need to be, bring it real fast from here to here. turn it like a barrel horse. And if you said you're over-exaggerating the I over-exaggerate everything! turn. So watch. I don't want any more forward momentum from here. This hand is keeping time. It's keeping time. I could kind of back her up right there. But you got to be careful with that, because she'll go into a sit. Because if I had to guess, the first thing you said when you saw the dog was sit. All right, so from here, again, I can, I can go. Because of the, her angle, I need to go this way, though. Heel. If I'm defining heel as this location, and I'm saying with this hand, you know, I'm safeguarding that location because even if I'm going this way she's not getting in front of me that looks so I'm just gonna push her you know. Okay, let me grab some more treats. Yeah, she had all the treats. In fact, Brack, next time you came over, please bring a big bag of treats for me. Oh, hello, Sophia. Uh, okay, good. Well, that's what I just want you to think of. The dog is under the impression that that's me, and I can move it, you know, with the collar. And yeah, I wanted to understand that. And no, I don't want to prove that I can do it without it. I think that's where people go wrong. When they're trying to prove they can do it without it, you're not gaining any skill. It's like, I can walk to the store. I don't need to drive a car. <laughs> okay, well, you're not going to learn how to drive any better. You know, this is the problem. All right, here comes Crash again. 
And she takes off after her. Watch this. Clue! And if you said you didn't get her back real fast, the hell I didn't! You know, and I mean, a couple of things happened though, and I did. I'm making it hydro. Here comes her. She's back again. Uh. You know, but I bumped it, went the other way. I kind of used a heightened reality tone. And Sophia, you've got to be so careful with Wolfie. I'm, it's, it's, you know, if they kill a cat, they're not doing, they don't really even understand what they're doing, girl. I, it's been my experience. They've got a predilection for cats. If, you know, and if you said, well, if out, they're out where there's rabbits, they get those too. Oh, absolutely. Scarlet used to go after skunks. I honestly think that's how Scarlet ended up coming to boarding school because she would just... Uh, Mark's wife would take her out and then she would just run away and start chasing these skunks and then come back all stinking like a skunk. Yeah. You're awful, Crash. That's what I say all day. It's sort of like George's dad on Seinfeld where he used to say serenity now. That's what I say. Oh, you're awful, Crash. And shoe bottom, you're awful. I don't care. All right, so I got news for you. That's the sound box is probably going to go dead after this. I need to get the batteries with this. Um, but that's what I want you to think of. And you could work on... Oh, Crash is gone again. Clue! Oh, I'm sure you see how that came in handy. I don't know if she was even in the shot, but she did total wipeout. Came back as well. You know, if you said, well, you mean that's the only thing it does? If, if, you know, and I want you to think of if that was the only thing it did, you know. But that's got to be, everything that you do has got to be up, because if not, it would be, well, now Clue ran away. I'll go get another one out. Okay, well, now that one ran away. You know, you've got to have that ability to operate them within, within, yay, you know, a world. But, you know, if you said, you know, and maybe that's what I should get. I don't know, Sophia, they used to have this thing like these dance school. This was back when, like, that was like the social thing, if you could do and so then they would have these things that you got, and then there'd be like little footsteps. So the people would learn to dance by like putting their foot in the, you know, kind of like that game Twister, but just with the feet. Um, so I, you know, if you said, well, you can't do that. Or if you said, what's the difference between technical, a technical turn and one that doesn't, the fact that it's a step by step by step by step by step, that, that's the difference. You know, so if I said, well, I'm going to do the turn towards, you know, I'm, saying to myself, I need to move the dog. Yay. Now I can do it for me. And if you said, well, what would that be? I, you could start doing a return to heel with your turn towards. That's the way I do it. You know, but I'm starting the pager. And obviously I can speed it up. And, and I mean, you do want to speed it up at some point. Uh, all right, I'm just going to do a couple of the dumbbells because she gets herself so... Um, they don't have a lot of stamina. But you know what I want you to think of, I mean, I mean, whatever behavior we get with the pager, we've got the ability with the pager to augment it. You've just, your job is to show the dog things are augmentable. If nothing's augmentable, all right, I need to do my little more, I need to get my footstool. So in order to help be successful, again, I'm gonna start, oh, here's my props. All right, here's my footstool. 
seems to be doing very ritualistic. Anyway, so yeah, this dog is doing great and you know, what you've got to look at is if I didn't wait and I waited, I can go back. I'm going to go back and find the first, the very first. Because, Brett, you remember, you brought her out two or three times before we did anything. The dog wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't move around. I waited till the very first time we got far away. I'm going to go. I've got a video of it. I'm going to go find it. But, um, and so she took that and augmented it. That's why she's so fast. But I have to say to myself, this is an animal that has the capacity to go that fast. I better have some handle on that or I'm in trouble. You know, if I don't have a handle on that, I've, I've got nothing. I've got absolutely nothing. Damn thing. And a crash came back now, Sophia. Oh, don't worry, the next episode's going to be called Crash Ran Away Again. All right, guys, i got a couple more to run through. I'll be right back.